Hello everyone, welcome back to Factorio, and today we are going to be starting out on our first science pack. Alright, so here in Factorio, one of the biggest things you need to do, and what's a constant, is your technology tree. Now your technology tree has to deal with doing your research and your science packs and all that kind of stuff. And this is how the game progresses and how you need to do bigger and better things, and ultimately how we're going to launch a rocket. So first things first is we actually need a science lab. So we'll go ahead and create one of those. And then what I want to do is we have to have electricity for it. So the electricity area that we built is up here. Uh, now we need to kind of move fast here a little bit on some of this research because we need to get some defenses up because we're going to hit uh, into these guys here pretty darn quickly. So the next couple of episodes, we're going to progress through some things very, very fast. Now, you can't automate anything right now. We have nothing to, to be able to automate. So that's what your very first research is going to be is automation. So we'll start the research on that. But I have to go in and craft 10 of these because it takes 10 science. So we have 10 science packs at one science pack every 10 seconds is what's being used. I'm going to take my science lab, I'll just plop it down here, actually as a matter of fact, I'll take that and I'll plop it down here on this side. And then I'll just take these, feed them into here, and then that's going to give us our automation. Oh, so the biggest thing that I really need to worry about right now, to be honest with you, is really kind of getting some, um, need to get some ammo made. See, these will take one second a piece in order to make, but I'm going to need a lot more than that. So this is why we need to get automation in here so I can get all of this stuff started. And now that we have electricity, we can go ahead and start making, uh, we can make some of these electric mining drills. Uh, let's go ahead and make one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just make six of those for right now. That in there. For some reason that's off. Okay, all of those are in there, so we'll have automation here shortly. Uh, take my pathway down. Plus, this will also give us the ability to um, to get some lights in here so that I can make it a little bit brighter. Uh, let's see. Grab all of my coal from there. Now, we have our basic simple setups right now. Which is fine. But we're going to have to, like I said, we're going to have to move kind of quickly in order to get uh, more of this done. This is actually completely done. I'm gonna move these because I don't like where they are. They're actually, they're gonna run out very, very quickly and I don't like that. Um, so let me take, let's just take these. One, two, three, four there, four here. Then we'll do that. So we'll put them right in the middle here so that uh, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So I want, to get a little bit more done. All right, automation is finished. And then let's go ahead and get some optics in here. What is that gonna take? Yeah, okay. So we'll start that. Um, I think I need 10 for that as well. This is <laughs> this is why we need to have automation. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's see, how exactly do I want to have this set up? That's, that's the biggest thing, is trying to figure out how I want to do a setup for this, but then for later on. Because our bus and everything, what I want to do is we'll probably have our smelting arrays come down through here, and then the bus will come down this way. Probably be the easiest way to do it. Planning is key when it comes to Factorio. I'm telling you right now. Planning is key. Um, but the planning that we're going to need to do up here really isn't going to be very big. You know, we just need an area that we can get some smelting into and that we can get um, we can get research taken care of. So let's go with, let's grab that stone. Make about 20 of those. 
Um, and then let's see, I have the six of these. Let's just add one to each side of those. And then I want, let's see, let's do it down here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's four of those. Um, that was wrong. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to do. Okay, 10 science packs. I just, I hate handcrafting this stuff. It just takes forever. It absolutely takes forever. Um, so what I can do is we'll do... Uh, let's say, since this is right here, let's go one, two, three, four, mm, five, six, and then one, two, three. Actually, I don't even need that many at first. I don't. Let's go two. So a total of four. Uh, let's put this over here. So we'll go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay. These go on the sides. All right, now I need, there's like so many things that I need right now, especially, God, um, let me, let me do this. Have I, have I made any of these? I've made four of them. Um, let me put two of these down here real quick. And I want to automate some circuits because... I seriously do not want to have to sit here and constantly handcraft circuits. It's just annoying. Let's get that going in there. All right. Circuits will be handcrafted or automated, not handcrafted. Let's do that. Don't mind the dog. Okay. So there we go. Okay, that's that's gonna make building stuff a lot lot easier. Because <laughs> what I'm gonna end up doing is I'll do a small little smelting area here for um. Oh, what is this? Uh, iron, and then we'll do a small smelting area here for copper. And then we'll start automating the uh, the red science or the, what is that called now? It's called something. Uh, automation science pack. That's what it's called. Right. I think I want to have a total of four of these here. Um, let me put this down here on my quick bar. Okay, so you can do that. So something that's really cool in 0 0.17 or 0 0.17 is that you can actually select something. And if you don't have it in your inventory, you can make a ghost of it right away, which I think is cool. And I think it's really beneficial. that way you can kind of plan things out right away. All right, let's make 10 of those. Do I have... Ooh, I don't have logistics yet. Actually, I need that first. I need logistics. Because that will give me my undergrounds and my splitters. Definitely have to have that. And I need 20 science packs for that. But while those science packs are being made, I can go ahead and... You can also grab it from the toolbar down here if you don't have any, and then plan it out this way if you want. So that'll go there. Uh, this, okay, so this is where it gets a little tricky and a little fun, actually. Um, so I want that to go like that. This will be... Oops, this will be coal that goes in here. That'll go like that. And that'll go like that. Okay. So then I've got... That will go into there. That'll go into... Whoops. Into there. Turn this this way. Now, this is pretty much like the basic setup that mm, most people use in their bases. 
you know, you have, uh, so we'll have iron ore come in this way. It'll get dispersed onto, oops, <laughs> it'll get dispersed onto both belts on this side, on the top side, and then on the bottom side, it'll have coal coming in and go to the top side. So very easy, very simple. Just extend this over. Okay, so that will take place once I've got... Uh, I did not want to research turrets. No, I want to research logistics. Thank y'all. Oh, can I create another one of these real fast? That way I can uh, split the workload. So the more of these uh, science domes that you have available, the faster things will get researched. It just makes things so much easier. It really does. All right, so 10, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, I need 16, 20 will work. And then once we get logistics done, we'll be able to uh, get the rest of this built here. Grab my holes here and electricity. I want to make this as neat and as organized as possible. Let's go 10. This should be, I don't know, this should be a decent amount for us to uh, to be able to do some stuff with. If not, we can always expand it later on. So I want to make sure I leave enough room here. Um, I want to have, let's see, am I probably out of stuff over here? I'm out of that. Go through, collect our stuff. We don't care over there. Um... All right, this, oops, I'm going to go like that and then like this. Okay. Go. All right, electricity hooked up for all of that. The miners are now going. Electricity production we're doing fine on. We actually, we have four steam engines and this is why I, I built as much as I did for that because I wanted to make sure that we didn't have to worry about power for a little bit. I did not want to have to worry about that for a little while. And we have plenty of that, plenty of that. Once I get this automated, I need to make some gears because that's a big pain in the butt. Okay, there's that. That'll back up. Logistics is almost done. Let's make one, two, three. Let's make four of those. Because as soon as I can, once logistics is done, I think I'll just go ahead and start uh, the automation process on this. That go there. That can go there. Debating whether or not this needs to go in this direction or the other direction. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. All right, so we now have splitters, so let's make one, two, we need three splitters, three undergrounds. I'm probably going to need more than that. That's full. Uh, one, two, three, yeah, uh, four. All right, so we'll get the splitters in here. That's going to split evenly over onto each side over there, which is Awesome. Like that. Uh, now, obviously, that's not going to do anything yet until we get some fuel in here. Of course, this I'll just take straight across here. We'll actually let's do this. Let's copy. So if you hit control C, which is an awesome function. Now it'll copy that um, and then I can take that and put it is about right there. Yeah. That's what I want. So then this, we already have mapped out. Uh, let's make three more of those. Uh, let's make five more of those. 
Oh, of course, that's going to hit right there. <laughs> and go figure. I always do that. I always tend to hit right where a power pole is. Yeah. Okay. So that'll go there. That'll go there. There's our three there. Now that I'm not too concerned about getting this set up yet. I just I want to get the iron plate set up right now. Now this I'm going to have go and we need to split it. I also need to go underground, get it off my path. Um, ooh, how am I going to split this? I'm going to split it and not cause any issues. Have that go there. That'll go under there. Okay. So we'll just do it that way. I just, I didn't want to have to, uh, have that go on the path. I want to make sure I keep my path kind of, kind of straight, you know. Avoid as much as I possibly can by getting stuff off of there. Now, once the coal hits this, then we'll be able to go ahead and get this taken care of. The next thing I want to... Sorry about the dog. <laughs> Sorry. This is why it's hard for me to record episodes sometimes, because of him. Okay, where was I? <laughs> oh, I had to take care of the dog. Alright, everything's fine. Everything's good. Alright, so... Uh, turrets is where I was. Turrets is where... I need to be. It's what I need to research. Um, it takes, what, just 10? Maybe I can just craft those by hand. Um, so we'll have this starting out here. And then I'm going to go and, let's see. Actually, I should probably go ahead and get this started here now. Because, oops, dang it. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot lately here. Um... Because we're going to need, we're going to need this for that. And of course, there's going to be a power pole right in the middle of everything. <laughs> Go figure. Let's do power poles there and there. Of course, that's not going to connect. Why? Why does it have to do that to me? Uh, okay, we'll fix it later. Um, I'm just, I'm just waiting on stuff to be crafted now. Okay, great. Uh, let's do half in there and half in there. So if you control right click, that'll put half the stack of what you're holding into whatever it is that you're wanting it to go into. Okay. All right, so we'll get that done. Um, I am going to need, let's say, two more miners. So from what I know and understand of some ratios, I'm not good at all ratios, but one of these can do two of these furnaces. Um, so if I have four of these then I ha and I have four furnaces, then I should be fine. Which, of course, you know, you can see there's, there's a bit of a backup. So if I do two of these, so say if I do, well, let's just do one... Hang on, where exactly do I want this one to go? Do one there and one there. Okay, so then we'll do that. So that'll give us... That to be taken care of. So we'll have two power poles, well, three power poles. One, two, hang on. No, <laughs> I didn't want to do one of those. Oh well. All right. All right, cool. So now we have automation going for plates and don't need any of this stuff in here. Um, I'm actually just going to dismantle all of this because we don't need it anymore. Uh, just like we don't need this up here anymore. And of course, the less produ the less production, the less production of um yeah. Pollution. God, I can't figure out my words today. The less production of pollution. I'm trying to say that three times fast. Uh, the better, because we're already starting to get down into this spider base. All right, turrets have been researched. So I need to make a couple of those. And then I'm just going to start. I'm going to throw two of these in here. 
Uh, give me... One, two, one, two. Make some ammo. Two, and... One. That'll go there. We'll have that go into a box, which... Just do this box, because that one holds a little bit more. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Power pole, power pole, power pole. Okay. Get a little temporary setup here and just start making some ammo. Uh, I want to take... Where are those two? Um, let's do this. This bar is going to end up being that and then we'll go ahead and put the firearm magazine in there so I'll stick one turret here and one turret here use the ammo that I have on me for now this isn't going to take very long you know if you hit P for production we're currently doing 29 per minute um 31 per minute so about 30 per minute you know 35, it's getting there, it hasn't been a full minute yet, so we're getting a decent amount of this made right now. Um, I'm just, I'm just afraid that our pollution has already gone out so far and these guys are going to get pissed. I'm sure they will. I'm very sure they will. Okay. With the automation of that, I do want to go ahead and automate, um, go ahead and do this, do that, and then we'll do that. Uh, let me make a few of those. Of course, I'm out of power poles too, go figure, I need wood. Where's the forest at? It's over here. So I want to go ahead and get just a couple of things automated before we start in with automating science here. That way, I don't have to keep handcrafting all the stuff that I'm going to need in order to do science. The biggest things really are just the, um, the belts and, you know, the, uh, the firearm magazines. That'll go there. Come on, there we go. Do that and that. All right, so this is going to be gears. This is going to be transport belts. So gears need two iron plates. So I'm actually going to set a second one of those on there. And then the transport belts need um, gears and plates. So that's why I've got it set up like this. God, I'm trying to explain this today. <laughs> What? I don't know. Maybe I just haven't had enough coffee. Who knows? All right. So we have those. Those are the two biggest things that we needed to have automated. So we've got that going. I'm probably going to need to get this extended already. Um, just with the amount of iron plates that we're going to be using there. Um, what I'd like to do is I think I want to have four of these set up. So let's go one, two, three, four. Oops. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Give me those. Give me, let's see, let's put that in there and you in there. Okay, so that, that should make plenty of those. Uh, ugh. Make two, four, okay. All right, so I want to do one, two, three, four of these are going to be red science. So if you shift right click, that will copy and then you can see how it turns green and then shift left click. Or, yeah, shift left click will paste it on there. So I want to take this, go down here. I actually need one more of these. I don't have it on me. Oh, yeah, I do have one on me. Okay, good. And then this is going to need to be gears. So this needs copper plates and iron gears. Now, iron gears, it produces one every half a second, so two a second. This, it takes five seconds to do one of these. 
So it's gonna use one gear every five seconds. So if I'm producing two every second, then that just opens it up for a lot. So I'm gonna have to figure out the math and the ratios and stuff like that <laughs> later on because I am not very good at that. But just know that we are going to have enough. That's gonna need to split off. I have that go underneath. We're gonna extend this down because we need to. We really, really need to. Um, make some of those. We need one more. Do that. Let's grab some of this. Probably why I should have grabbed or left the other stuff going, but that's all right. Okay. Those might be a little too close to that, but we'll see. Um, okay, making plenty of that stuff now. That's going to have to go there. That'll go here. And actually, I want this to go down like that. So when this comes off of here, it's going to put it onto the furthest part of the belt, but I actually want it on the inside of the belt. So unless you have a mod, which we're not doing, we're doing vanilla, um, we're going to take it and put it on the inside of the belt. And then this is going to have our copper plates that are going to be coming off of here. And then this is going to output onto this side over to there. And then that's how we'll get red science going. Or automation science going, I should say. We are automating automation science. So much fun. Now, again, this is this is a very basic setup. This is nowhere near anything that I usually do. Um, it actually goes a little bit against the norm of of what I do, but I'm I'm liking and enjoying this setup right here. I think that uh Eventually, I'll be able to, you know, extend these out, these two things out, and then make my normal um, starter science area over here that I use for red and green. Uh, and then from there, I'll be able to do even more by getting another smelter set up and starting our um, starting our bus area down here to where uh, we're going to have, you know, other automation happening like this stuff up here. Um, let's limit this to one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's limit that to six. I don't need all of that going in there. Do ten of those. I really, really should have gears being made, but or automated, I should say. I guess I don't really have to. So let's go two there, two there, there, and here. There and there. Actually, if I do the same thing, if I go there, no, and there. Okay, that's fine. Yay! We have it going now. Let's get rid of that. Awesome. And I've got those two. Uh, apparently, I need two more of these. Uh, what do we need for another one? Iron plate. It's always with the iron plates. Always. Now, granted, whether or not, you know, one for one, I think, for the most part, works. Um, let's do military so that I can get my uh, submachine gun. And then we're going to need walls, electronics. We're just going to need all this stuff, especially steel. Steel processing, we're going to need very early on. I didn't used to need it early on, but we are going to need it early on. But there you go. There you have it. We have... Uh, our red science automated now, or our automation science automated, I should say, <laughs> which uh, is going to make things so much easier. And this is where we get into a lot more complicated stuff, trying to figure out how to get things set up and everything else. And we're also going to have to deal with biters, unfortunately, probably in the next episode, because this, uh, 
this plume of pollution is really reaching out there. So, anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. Questions, comments, concerns, you know what to do. Put it in the comment section down below. Alright, so anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.